A friend of Boston Marathon bombing suspect Johar Zarnayev was found guilty Tuesday for two counts of lying to the FBI during a probe into the 2013 terrorist attack. Some are now speculating the deliberation in Robel Filippos' conviction might affect how Zarnayev's case is handled. First, some background. Zarnayev's lawyer originally asked the judge to move his client's trial to Washington, D.C., arguing a Boston jury might be biased because of possible emotional ties to the incident. The judge denied that request, but Zarnayev's lawyer will probably request the same. His chances of switching cities also look slim. Why? Well, let's go back to the Filippos verdict for a second. A Boston jury only found the 21-year-old guilty of about half of what prosecutors called false statements during interrogations. And it took the jury a pretty long time, more than 34 hours of deliberations over the course of six days. Legal experts told the Boston Globe this shows the jurors were split and weighed their decision carefully, proving a Boston jury could hold a fair trial for Zarnaya. One defense lawyer is quoted in the Globe saying, this is detrimental to any move by Johar Zarnayev to get a change of venue in the case because it shows that the jurors can be thoughtful and thorough and go through the evidence without a knee-jerk reaction to a horrible case. Additionally, according to a WBZ-TV legal analyst, Filippos might actually end up testifying against Zarnayev which could make Filippos look more favorable when his sentencing rolls around. I think there's a big incentive for this young man to cooperate and come clean. I would really have a heart-to-heart -heart with, with, with my client, with Robel, and look him right in the eye and say, you got to make a real decision here. Aside from that, Filippos' lawyer is quoted by CNN saying her client also harbors some ill feelings toward his friend. I don't believe that Robel Filippos has ever been more angry at a person than he was at Johar Zarnayev when Robel found out that Johar Zarnayev did what he did in this case. He was absolutely mortified. Filippos faces a maximum of 16 years behind bars. His sentencing is scheduled for January 29th. As far as Zarnayev, he faces 30 federal charges and could get the death penalty. His trial begins in the same month. For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg. Influence by the military-industrial complex.